Hey everybody, good evening. Hope you're doing well. G. Tim here, uh, down in the headquarters. And late breaking commitment news here on Thursday evening. Uh, Trey Zonar, uh, Zavonar, the uh, 2025 tight end for Lincoln Way East, who happened to play for his father, Rob Zavonar, has given the Miami of Ohio Redhawks his verbal commitment. Trey is now the second known. Name from the state of Illinois in 2025 to commit to Miami of Ohio. Also, other tight ends. So, uh, the Red Hawks stacking up on tight ends here in the state of Illinois. And uh, Trey is now the eighth overall commitment for the Miami Red Hawks. And again, um, just another really strong uh, get, we'll say, for Miami of Ohio. Uh, so, let's get into it a little bit. So, again, Trey Zavonar. Uh, has been a starter for Lincoln Way East since his sophomore year. Uh, again, you know, it sounds like we're kind of talking a bit about when we did uh, Brennan Loftus' uh, commitment story. Um, very rare to be a sophomore varsity starter at Lincoln Way East. And again, um, if you know anything about his dad, about Rob Zavona, you know that there is nothing given – whether it's his son or not, Trey has earned everything he has gotten at Lincoln Way East. And, uh, again, it's been fun to watch his progression since the sophomore year. You could tell pretty early on that that Trey was going to get pretty heavily recruited. Um, Trey's got great size. And, again, uh, we joke quite a bit with Rob all the time. And thank God, uh, you know, the – Got some great athletic ability from his wife's side of the family, which, of course, joking. But, uh, yeah, Trey, really good size, 6'3", almost close to 6'4", around probably now about 220, I would guess. Great size kid, kind of more of a more of a straight line, old school tight end, in my opinion. Um, definitely a willing blocker, very physical player, strong kid. Um no doubt you can line him up outside as well. And he has the ball skills and the ability to be a threat either again, more, out, more wide out as a more of a West coast tight end or more of a uh, standard old school throwback hand on the ground, blocking tight end Miami, Ohio uses her tight ends quite a bit. And they use multiple tight ends as well in their offense. Mentioned that as well with uh, Brendan Loftus's breakdown. So again, not a big surprise to see Miami load up on a couple of tight ends and a couple of good ones in the state of Illinois. I mean, what can I tell you I know about Trey Zavonar? I mean, I've seen him since he was a little dude on the sidelines. Uh, ball boy, I remember his sons are ball boys at Lincoln Way, so obviously he's been around the program his entire life, and uh, it seems like I've watched him and his brothers grow up and Again, terrific young man on and off the field, excellent in the classroom, great grades, had a lot of options. Uh, I mentioned Northwestern was a school that was getting very serious with him. Also uh, talked about Liberty quite a bit. I know he, uh, I know Trey liked Liberty. But in all honesty, it was uh, no real surprise that, uh, that Trey ended up at Miami of Ohio, as I mentioned in the commitment story. Uh, he had wanted to commit to Miami after his first visit about a month ago. And I remember talking to him about uh, that visit in the story. And Trey was pretty blown away. And I had a feeling right then and there, unless a, a big, big offer would come through, that I thought Trey would wind up at Miami of Ohio. And here we go. Um, several other schools liked him, wanted to see him camp this summer. And again, I think rightfully so. I think Trey made a great decision. Miami of Ohio, obviously one of the better MAC programs, uh, outstanding academically as well. So, again, uh, Miami uh, Red Hawks just have a lot to offer. Miami, consistent recruiter here in the state of Illinois. Some years they win some, some years they might not win some. But uh, Chuck Martin going back, geez, going back to his assistant coaching days. Very familiar face here in the state of Illinois when it comes to recruiting. And the Miami staff has also been very, very active here over the years. So, again, um, they generally get get a handful of kids at least out of the state of Illinois, and they're obviously off to a good start. No star ranking yet from Riles on Trey. Again, a lot of that goes into uh, the fact that um, Trey really not had not done any of the exposure camps or what have you. No big deal. I like Trey. I think I'd start him out probably as a mid three star recruit. Um, 
and obviously I will get a chance to see him this fall and, and maybe boost that up a little bit. So I would expect a star ranking very quickly from Rivals on Trey, and uh, we can all move forward from there. Uh, again, talked about very happy to have the process over, and, you know, that's another trend we're seeing here, and it's going to continue, and, and, and I think, again, this is a situation where, you know, again, his dad's a head coach at Lincoln Way East has a very good handle on the recruiting process right now. And it's it's harder than ever for high school kids to land great offers and options. And when you get one coming your way, you don't wait a whole lot of time these days. You you get very proactive and you get after it. I give Trey and obviously Rob and his family a lot of credit for uh, recognizing such a strong offer and a strong opportunity and not wasting it and, and locking in and, and locking down on it. So again, I think it's a great fit. I think it's a great decision, a program that uh, again, both off on and off the field, very strong, has a lot to offer. So again, uh, Trey's Vonar uh, 2025 tight end will be a three-year varsity starter this coming season. Commits to Miami of Ohio. So there you go. Just some thoughts on Trey's Vonar. Stay tuned. All kinds of stuff coming your way. I got a feeling we're going to have a busy handful of months here. So a uh, lot of breaking recruiting news and what have you. And if you need more insight, hey, you know where to go. Thanks, everybody.